Hello everybody, my name is Adam Garcia here again and today we're going to be talking about traffic flow theory and mainly the speed, density and flow rate relationships. So, speed is defined as U and it's typically um, miles or distance over time such as miles per hour. Density is um, defined as Q and it's defined as uh, vehicles per distance such as vehicles per mile. And flow rate, it's defined as Q, and it's typically uh, vehicles per hour. And the relationship that that relates all these um all these terms is the formula Q equals Q. So Q equals K times U. And there's also relationships that relate all these three um, graphs, where it's um. where it's speed versus density, speed over flow rate, and flow rate over density. These graphs come in very, uh, very different shapes, such as the ones I'm currently drawing. Wherever the speed is equal to zero, it's, uh, it's typically, called, typically called the free flow rate, which is defined as U sub f. Where the k is equal to zero, it's defined as jam density or kj. And um, wherever the q is maximum, it's called the capacity. So uh, q sub c. And all of these are all related. With this being said, um, there's many ways to solve for the capacity, and these um these have specific steps. So the steps to solve the capacity are first you have to typically you're giving a a function a, a speed in terms of density. So most of the times you're giving this. If not, just solve for it. The second step is to multiply both sides by k, which gives you q since q equals k times u, times the, the function of k, times k. After that, we take the derivative of q and set it equal to zero, and we take the derivative with respect to k, set it equal to zero, and solve for the k. So, and that k would be the kc, which is the density at capacity. And this should give you some number. And the final step is plugging in the, the, uh, the, the density at capacity into the original equation to solve for the Q at capacity. So, or the capacity. So the capacity is equal to the function of density using the density at capacity. With this being said, let's move into equation or uh, let's move into an example. So we're given an example and in the example they give us a speed density relationship which is Q plus 2.6 equals 0.0 Zero one k minus two hundred and forty squared. So, in order to solve for u, you could subtract minus two by both sides, or minus two point six. And after simplifying, we get that u equals zero point zero zero one k squared. minus 0 0.48 K plus 55 and as our second step indicated we could um oh we could uh, solve for the jam or we could solve for the free flow 
the free uh, the free flow speed by um, substituting zero for each of the k values since the free flow speed is when the density is equal to zero. So doing that, we get the the free flow speed, and since these are all equal to zero, they would all go away, and the free flow speed is equal to 55 miles per hour. Then we also have to solve for um, the jam density. And the jam density is um, is just when u is equal to zero. So substituting when u is equal to zero. So after doing this, we could solve for the jam density, and simplifying all this, we get the jam density is equal to uh, 189 vehicles per mile. Yeah. Okay. And for our next step, we have to solve for the density in order to do this. We have to first multiply both sides by, by k, and doing that we get q since q is equal to to u times k. And doing that we get 0.01 kc cubed minus 0.48 kc squared plus 55 kc. And then taking the derivative of q, we get, and taking the derivative in respect to k, we get 0 0.003 kc squared minus 0 0.96 kc plus 55. And we set this equal to 0 in order uh, to solve for the kc. And simplifying everything, we get KC is equal to 74.7 vehicles per mile. The next thing we have to solve for is the is the Q uh, the capacity, which is QC. And doing that, we just simply. <laughs> Substitute that Q, uh, C value into this equation in order to solve for the. But in order to do that, we substitute that value for KC we solve for into this equation to get the QC or capacity. And doing that, we get. Zero point zero zero one. 74.7 cubed minus 48, 74.7 squared plus 55, 74.7. And simplifying all that mess, we get QC is equal to 1,846.8 vehicles per hour. And we also have to solve for the speed at capacity, but knowing the equation that the flow rate is equal to the density times the speed, we could just substitute and rearrange this. So Q over density is equal to the speed. So the speed at capacity is just the capacity over the density at capacity. And we saw these two in the two previous steps. So it's just 8,046.8 over 74.7 and doing this we get 24.7 miles per hour and that's our answer thank you for watching this video and I uh, hope you guys learned a lot yeah so um